Kamilisha Medali. Penye Vami Worms hapa kusinini. Penye Vami Worms hapa kusinini. Pesa mwenzangu. Na bila shaka leo kunyesho ya Youth in Agriculture. Tunangazia kuhusu worms. Vami Worms. Organic way of farming. Na leo tutakuwa na mkulima Ted Gachanga mbae atatueleza rasmi rasmi na mwenzangu hapa pia kwenye show. Atatueleza kuhusu vile ambave utakuza hawa duru na pia wawezo kuletea profit. Ama ni aje? Karibu kwenye show. As always kwenye show ya Youth in Agriculture, tuko na wakulima bomba hatari sana kwa chochote ambacho wanalima au nafuga. Na kwa leo tuko na Ted Gachanga. Hapa maino ya kawaskari kiambu county na Ted. Karibu sana kwenye show. Sani sana Mario. Karibu shambani. Asanti sana. Worms nini kwa kiswahili? Wadui. Kithani ni wadudu kumbukumbu. Kama sija kosea. Watazamaji watani kosoa. Hebo tuileze. Vami worms. Describe for us. What are they? So vami worms are a special type of worm. Uh, they belong in the atom family kwa kijina ya kisayansi wanaitwa Isenia fetida. Sasa kwanza our worms uh, they are not native to to Kenya. The native worms that we have in in Kenya and Africa as a whole they are called the African night crawlers. Hao ndio wenye watu wengi wamezoea kutumia kushika samaki pia kufanya hii mambo ya kutengeneza mbolea nao. Lakini kwa ya ile kazi tunafanya tunapenda kutumia our Isenia fetida wenye ambao wako native to North America. Yeah, so they, they originated from North America. So, I want to start to make a lot of money. I want to make a lot of money. Now, what's the idea, Aji? So, I want to make a lot of money. 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 I want to make a lot of ya chakula takataka afisa wa worms wana wana wanatengeneza mbolea nayo e, kwa hivyo wanai wanakula hiyo hiyo takataka hadi inakuwa kama mchanga yeah na sasa wewe ndio ukuja ufanye worms mm. ulianzaje kwanza hii ilikuwa biashara nilifikiria wakati nilikuwa nafuga kuku kwa hivyo nilikuwa na kuku alafu tulikuwa na mbolea mingi sana afisa nikajiuliza kuliko tu kuwa na mwaga mbolea kwa shamba ama kukupea watu bure naweza fanya aje ku, kuongeza vali kwa hiyo mbolea sasa ndio kufanya research hapa na pale YouTube tunaita school of YouTube sasa <laughs> ndio tukaanza na kilo mbili alafu sasa baada yao sawa wakakuwa wengi wa kwenye afu tukona tena kwa pande ya kibiashara it makes sense uh, yeah like economically it makes sense sasa so, tukasema haya kumbe pia mtu anaweza fanya biashara nzuri na hawa sasa tukafanya hiyo sasa hapa ndo saa tuko saa hizi. Yeah. Na kabla tuende kwa hiyo mali ya it makes sense, hiyo mm. ya hesabu kidogo mm. eh, tutautueleze what are the requirements mm. of having the vermi worms. Ah okay. Mm -hmm. uh, kitu cha kwanza ni you need a proper environment eh. So about these worms they are very sensitive um, cuz they breathe through the skin. So you need somewhere that's cool, uh, it's moist. Alafu pale hakuna wadudu wengi kama ants, uweze pata kama pia vitu kama panya. So you need somewhere very clean, very well maintained, cool. Is is of to that. Alafu kitu kingine ni you need a a, a structure like here ambayo unaona. Okay, so lazima ikuwe kubwa hivi, mm. lakini unaweza anza tuna kitu kidogo. Eh, so unaweza tumia neti kama sisi tumetumia hapa kuzuia jua mm. na pia kuzuia ile mvua mingi ambayo inaweza angukia vitanda tena zi, zi flood. So unaweza tumia neti ama unaweza tumia mabati kuweka tu juu. Alafu kitu kingine ni unahitaji sasa mbolea ile ambayo sasa wadudu tunaita starter feed ama what we call feed stock. So kwa sisi tunapenda kutumia sana mbolea ya ngombe. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu um, it's very by the time to we get it it's already cool, imesha iva. Kwa hivyo tukishapea wadudu haito ile joto ambayo mbolea inatoanga ikianza iki, kuoza. So tunapenda ng'ombe ya ngombe alafu ya mbolea ya ngombe it's very well balanced. Sio kama ya kuku unapata iko na ammonia mingi na choma wadudu. Alafu pia ya mbolea ya ngombe it's very readily available here around Kaskari. Kwa sababu kuna a couple of uh, dairy farmers here. So unahitaji pia mbolea. Alafu sasa kitu cha mwisho ambacho unahitaji ni worms. Sasa hawa dudu kama we ni mtu like you know how, how to, to do things on your own. Unaweza enda kwa kwa mto uchimbe chimbe utapata wadudu huko. <laughs> <laughs> Unaweza kwanza na mkono mmoja. 
ama unaweza wanunua eh, so unaweza wanunua kutoka kwa watu kama sisi ambao sasa tuna tuko na wadudu wengi kwa kiwango ambacho tunaweza uza sasa uh-huh. ama sasa kumpia kuna watu wengine pia bado wako kwa hiyo biashara unaweza wapigia simu ununue kwanza na kama kilo moja ama kilo nusu yeah, depending on what what business uh, aspect you want to to, to go into in regards to over culture mm-hmm. yeah so asa tuende kwa ile sehemu ya kufanya how to do it mm. exactly eh? mm. what do we have here so here mm. i have two bins mm. and then santa kuonyesha the finished product sasa ile ambacho tunaita vermi compost sasa hiyo ndio ile kenye sasa wadudu wakishakula takataka mm. na yale yote ambayo yako hapo mm-hmm. sasa kenye wanabakisha ndio sasa tuna, tuna, tunauza kama organic fertilizer yeah sasa hapa namna tuko na container za yellow yes. na pia hapo umesema tuko na worms hapa ndani yes. lakini ziko chini ziko chini hazipindi jua hazipindi jua nini nyingine unahitaji ah uh, tu maji maji eh yeah, maji umba, uh-huh. maji sasa tuna tunanyenyezanga maji once a week uh-huh. ndio sasa kufanya ikue na hiyo moisture nzuri uh-huh. yes so una una bagi loves yeah. jamani yangu iko wapi <laughs> shika mare asante unaweza tutengeneza kitanda hapa ndio tuweze kuona vile ambavyo tunaweza kutengeneza tukiwa nyumbani. Eh. Sio karibu. Eh. Sasa tunachota tu kidogo, jote kina tuweke mingi sana. Sasa hii this is a composted cow manure. Okay. Tuna hata venye imekuwa haina joto mingi hapo baadaye kuna. Haina baby ni baridi. Sasa tunakuja na kitchen waste. Mzee, tutansaidia na hiyo. Sasa hapa, mwana. Hii kitchen waste ni takataka yoyote uko nayo. Hapa. Hii uh, mm-hmm. ile takataka ambayo unaweza pewa wadudu ni anything tuseme tu kitu yote ambayo sio asidi kama citric. So bora haina machungwa, mm-hmm. haina pineapple, haina lemon. Mm-hmm. Hakuna nya, uh, vitungu uh, utakuwa tu sawa. Na je, mifupa? Mifupa hapana. Kwa wadudu hawezi kula mifupa. Yeah. Oh ule uh-huh. wala dudu ambao wanaweza kula mifupa nikidhani ni wanaitwa waje wale maggots. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Ah, asante sana. Sasa tunaweza endelea na mbele. Sawa sasa, uh-huh. tutaweka tu chakula kidogo hapa. Mhm. Uh-huh. Sasa unaona kuna hayo. Oh, inayo yao. Naona ni kama ilikuwa spinach. Hiyo ni spinach hiyo. Eh. Hapa tuko na hii ni ndizi. Ndizi na nuna. Ehe, hapa kuna gazeti. Hata gazeti, hata gazeti pia watakula kwa sababu ah. it's also a good source of uh, carbon. Ehe. Alafu sasa tunaweza kaa vitu kama sasa hapa kunaona kuna matunda. Kuna matunda. Na hii hiyo watu hizi yaka hiyo kitu ta. Eh hawatakula. Itakaa hapo. Itaoza yenyewe. Yeah, watakula. Itaoza yenyewe lakini mm-hmm. wadudu watakula. Kumaanisha tusingishe? Ah, uh, tunaweza ingiza. Haina yeah. shida. Oh. Sasa uh, alafu sasa unaona kuna hapa pia kitu mm-hmm. kingine kama unaona kuna, kuna nyanya. Ehe. Uh-huh. Sasa kuna cabbage. Cabbage. Hey. Yeah. Ni vitu mingi wanakula balanced diet. <laughs> Jamani inasaidia hata wenye wako kwa nyumba you know yes. it's a good way of throwing ex- disposing the waste of the waste yes yeah hata mhm sasa unaona hapa kuna 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 popo pia hapo mhm yeah so kidhani hiyo imetosha ah, tena imetosha tena tutaki tuweke mingi uh-huh. sababu utaki pia ikianza ku when it starts decomposing uh-huh. itaanza kutoa joto yenyewe so utaki tena uweke mingi sana ah. unaweka tu kidogo alafu sasa tutafunika tu kidogo Uh, na manyoa ingine? Eh kidogo tu si mingi. Oh. Sasa tukishafanya hivyo, uh, tunachanganya ama? Eh tunaweza tunachanganya tu kidogo hivi. Oh. Ndio waweze kupata chakula. Exactly, yes. Ah. Love sasa. Mhm. Sasa unakuja na wadudu wako Maria. Nikuulize kwanza, uh-huh. hawa wadudu wako miaka ngapi? Hawa siwezi jua miaka lakini wamekuwa kwa hizi vitanda ni kidhani kama Yeah, like uh, three years. Three years. Three years. So you see. Are they baby worms? So here we have a mixture. Ah. We have a mixture of baby worms. Mm-hmm. We have adult worms as well. Yeah. Yeah. So you see, uh, the worms. Each worm has a lifespan of around six months. Now, 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 now
Kwa huku walisha ama ama kuna sababu ambayo wanashambulia chakula hivyo. Unajua kwa sababu wameshikana hivyo, eh. kwa sababu wako pahali hakuna chakula na hapa kwenye wako hakuna eh. chakula. Alafu sababu tulikuwa tumeacha kwa jua. Uh-huh. Sasa ile wana wanaenda wanashikana kwa kimpira. Mm. Sasa waweze kukuwa cool. Ndio maana unaona wengi wengine wao wameshikana hivyo. Uh-huh. Eh. Sasa tu tuna mmoja tu nyote uh-huh. hapa. Na uteka wote, wadudu wote. Eh. At least you can get a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little Hapa nae bado nikidhani ni ni, ni, ni manyoa. Oh. Sasa hapa ukikuja mm-hmm. baadaye utapata hata nyasi washakula. around uh, we do 45 days 45 days eh? yes 45 ah. days ah. so with the, by 40, with the 45th day unaweza kuja sasa utumie Kenya kwa hapo utumie kama mbolea what is the importance of watering so um Marion, mm-hmm. um i had earlier mentioned we water the the bed that we had set up just so that we can keep the worms cool like as you know they breathe through their skin so if if it's too hot for them then now they start now um we call it it's kind of like sweating uh so we water either early in the morning ama jioni kabisa na uh, so you see the the earlier we water the less water we lose through evaporation so by the, by the time ukishamwagea asubuhi by the time jua inatokea kitanda kimeshakunywa maji ya kutosha yeah so it's that we do it early in the morning ama late in the evening kama unaweza fanya tu kwa shamba kama umepanda mboga so unamwagianga maji asubuhi ama jioni ama hata usiku yes baada ya hapa mm-hmm. so baada ya hapa mm-hmm. uh, nilikuwa nakuonyesha venye itaka ukisha wakisha kula hiyo takataka ambayo tulikuwa tume ndele takataka yote tulikuwa tumeweka naona kasa kwa kitanda kingine naona washakula kula hiyo hiyo chakula na hii ni baada ya siku i think 21 days these animals are fast yeah they are very they eat the waste very quickly that's why i was telling you oh. these worms are the best for vermicomposting because they eat um, they eat um, in, in in accordance to their size in weight so let's say if you have 1 kilo of waste watakula nini a kg of worms can eat can go through a kilo of waste every 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 21 days or 14 days depending on the environment now samaji na baridi yeah so unaona baada ya hapo venye tulikuwa tumetengeneza kitanda sasa unaona venye wamesha kula sasa hivi ndio inakaa alafu sasa hapa sasa tukisha tukisha wana chakula yote imeisha hiyo takataka na tunakuja tuna harvest lakini kabla tuende hapa kwa ku harvest mm. utajuaje hawa worms hawako poa wako uh, na changamoto wako na ugonjwa mm, okay mm. ugonjwa wa patangi <laughs> <laughs> lakini ni kweli ile kenye utaona tu ni ile kama kuna joto kingi utaona hiyo wame wamekuwa wamejeka kwa kimpira so utapata wao zote wamekuja wamejifunga kwa kimpira hiyo inamaanisha aidha kuna joto mingi sana ama kuna maji mingi sana kwa kitanda so it's ni kama it's a survival mechanism for them so ukishaona wameanza kuwa kwa hiyo mpira ama uanze kuona kitanda inakaa kama kuna they excrete something that looks like a mucus kama ile mucus unapata kwa kona kona sasa unaona unaweza kuja kupata juu ya kitanda kuna hiyo mucus kila pahali. Hivyo ndio unajuanga wadudu wako sawa. Yeah. Ama ukikuja upate sasa ukichimba hapo unapata haya wadudu wako. Because you know essentially they're supposed to be scattered everywhere so, so that you know they are comfortable and moving around. So um ukikuja uchimbe hapo upate wako unajua eh hey, either kitanda ime kitanda kimekauka sana ama kuna shida nyingine. Sawa. Yeah. The next step is So now when kisha kisha wameshakula hiyo takataka yote sasa ni wakati wa kutoa mbolea harvesting. Sasa hiyo uko harvest ndio sasa uweze kutoa ile mbolea sasa uitumie kwa shamba yako ama sasa hivi sisi tuna harvest sasa tuna pack tunauza. Yeah, sasa ndio sasa hiyo ndio the next step. Sasa harvesting kuna different ways we harvest. We have a method called horizontal migration or vertical migration. Kwa kitanda kama hii, sasa unataka kutoa mbolea. Utakuja tu utoe unatoa layer by layer so yeah, centimeter by centimeter unakuja na kitu una scrap una, una vuta vuta tu hivi kando sasa wadudu ukivuta kando wadudu wenyewe juu ya jua na mwangaza watashuka chini 
sasa ndio sasa unaendelea tu ukitoa chakula wakishuka chini ukitoa chakula wakishuka chini sasa so, baada umemaliza ndio tu mabaki ya tu wadudu huko chini na sasa uh, vertical ni tuongee jo vertical kwa mm. kuongea jo horizontal sasa horizontal migration ni ile sasa kusonga hivi kando kando sasa hiyo nikaa sasa nitakuja niweke chakula hapa pande moja sasa wakuje, wakuje kwa chakula sasa kule ambao wametoka where they vacated wana they leave kuna ngao dudu sasa unakuja tu unachota hata mara moja yeah so unaona it takes some time but you harvesting tunasemanga kazi ya harvest need patience na hiyo vertical inachukua muda kama ah vert vertical ile tu ukisongesha tu hivi kidogo even like sasa so, nikisongesha hii hapa kitanda kama hiki nitoe tu kama hiyo sentimita moja yeah. nikuja hapa baada ya dakika tano watakuwa wameshashuka oh. wameshuka chini natoa na tena wanashuka natoa wanashuka yeah na vertical horizontal sasa horizontal ndio watachukua kama siku mbili siku tatu hivi ama hata wiki moja saa zingine mm. and sasa juu sawa itabidi uongoje wa, wote wasonge hmm. pande moja then baada ya hapo sasa ukwakisha migrate sasa tunatoa hiyo compost sasa hiyo compost tukitoa hivi ndio vile inakaa Wow, yeah. inafanana mchanga. Na mchanga lakini hapa kuna mchanga yote. Chini hata ukinusa masikia hata haina harufu. Ha, ah, haina harufu. Inanuka kama ni kama ukikuwa wandani ya forest msitu. Eh, iko na hiyo harufu ya mvua. Yeah. Ha. So now that's what we you can use as organic fertilizer. Yeah. For your kwa kwa, kwa, kwa uh, chochote kenye unachopanda is kama ikue mboga, maua, hata kahawa hata wale watu ambao wanafanya tree nurseries wanatumia hii mbolea. Mm-hmm. Mm. Na naona kuna hapa mdudu moja hapa. Sasa, When you harvest in and you finding this mm. utafanya nini? Sasa ukipata wakati sasa wa kuchunga, mm-hmm. sasa lazima pia tuchunge mbolea. Mm-hmm. Kutoa sasa yale mabakishio ya chakula ambayo hajamaliza kama haya. Sasa tukichunga, yeah. sasa tunendanga tukitoa sasa pia wale wamebaki. Na by the time we are packing to sell, mm-hmm. hakuna wadudu wengi hivyo kwa mbolea ambayo tunauza. Sometimes utapata kwa, kwa gunia ikienda ya mbolea tapata wadudu wawili watatu hivi lakini ni sawa. Watenda kusaidia ule mkulima ambaye ambaye amenunua hiyo mbolea. Yeah. Baada ya hapo? Sasa so, baada ya hapo ni sasa tuna tukishachunga we, we pack it and sell it to farmers uh, all around uh, Kenya even sometimes we sell as far as uh, Tanzania, Uganda, yeah, Rwanda. Yeah. Kabla tuja crunch hizo numbers mm-hmm. kidogo tu. Mm-hmm. Imboleo unayekaje kwa shamba you just sprinkle it or you wait for it to dry. Uh, you just you use it immediately yeah. as is. You know the more moisture it has the better it is. The easier it will be for the plants to absorb the nutrients that are in the compost because it's very moist. So can you use the way we use it nikawa unaweza weka DAP kwa kwa shamba ile unatumia tu unachuna mkono mkono unaweka kwa shimo afu unaweka mmea wako afu unafunika. At what stage? You can so we this one we recommend during planting. And then also now a month after planting that's when now your your crops are flowering. Yeah that's when you recommend so you use it twice so when you're planting or when your plants are flowering. That's when you use the compost. Na hii vami compost iko na nutrients mob kuliko fertilizer ya kawaida. Yeah uh, iko na nutrients mingi ile kile ambayo tunatafuta kwa this vami compost ni hiyo the organic matter in the compost. So you see when you use this uh, particular compost here vami compost it's a way of introducing life back into your soil. So you see the more organic matter that you introduce yourself the healthier your soil is in the long term. So no nice ile kitu ambayo tumeanza tumia this season alafu mm. utake kuona results at a drastic. It's something we call it a long it's a long game. Yeah so the more you use it the better it is for your soil. Na kwa wale wakulima ambao wanapenda ku mix mix unaweza tumia hii pamoja na DAP. Yeah if you want you can. But you see kuna wale wakulima ambao sasa let's say wale ambao wana export you know they have certifications. So in some certifications when you say you're organic you have to be 100% organic so you can't use the two but if if, if it's a farmer who wants to use both you can but you can also just use it alone yeah so it's, it depends on you and your and uh, your reasons for farming Asa yeah. customers so wako ambao wanatoka hadi Tanzania where yeah. do you get them from how do you get them Most of them just through online uh, Facebook because uh, they do a lot of advertisements on uh, on the social media platforms so we get a lot of customers from Facebook Instagram word of mouth yeah. yeah so not let's talk about the numbers mm-hmm. capital investment how much is it uh depending on the size of kind of business you want to run mm-hmm. uh for uh, us we started with 60000 and that was just to set up just this shed that's behind you uh to to buy the worms to build the beds uh, so it was 60000 and from what we had set up we were making around uh, we were harvesting around like uh, 200 kilos every month Actually it was less it was like 100 kilos every month. 
So you see, slowly, slowly, we do can develop, multiply, then we have to grow the business. So it, it depends on how much you can get. Sometimes I'm five thousand. Sometimes I'm easy. One's a two nazo. How much you can go full on investment and build enough structures for the homes. It depends also on your uh, financial capability. Yeah. And how much profit? If, for uh, example, you invest in the sixty thousand, mm -hmm. how much are you expecting to get at the end of the month? Uh, at the end of the month, now the profit can be you can get the you get the revenues are from the compost and from the worms, and also you can make money from it, from trainings. So depending on how you're running your business, the profit like varies. So and also depending on your market, you see now as our market, since we got the extra step of packaging our products into smaller bags, we've uh, we've done uh, branding. So now we we're able to cater to a niche market. So these are like people who sell uh, these garden centers. All our and maua. Mm. So now then we sell our product at a premium. So our profit might vary from someone who's just selling to farmers. Mm. Yeah. So it depends on how you you've done your business modeling. Yeah. But I'll say I'll just say it's it's not a bad business as long as you you know what you're doing. Kilo moja ni how much? Kilo moja wadudu tunauza three thousand. Now that's that's yoni yoni retail. Like in kau na kujaku ni noa kama kilo kumi kilo one hundred kilos. Mm. We sell at two thousand shillings a kilo. Na kama mukulima na taka two heave vami compost niye we kilo ningapi. Ah, uh, sasa pia tukona bei ya wholesale na bei ya retail. Bei ya wholesale tunauza fifty you no know, sixty shillings a kilo. Lafu bei ya retail tunauza hundred shillings a kilo. Jamani, to keep yeah. 60,000 versus one kilo yeah. at 60 bob. If you do your math, yeah. you can see. Yeah. I'll, I'll leave the viewers <laughs> to do their math <laughs> yeah, with that limited information. <laughs> now, what are the challenges that you're facing in this business? Uh, mostly it's, um, for now, our biggest challenge, which is not a bad thing, has mm. been too much demand, not enough supply. Yeah. So that's why we're also trying to scale up our business. And now that brings us to our other challenge, which is now capital to scale. So um, you see, now for to do some things, you need money. So even to scale to the level we want to, we need uh, more capital. So now it's that we start taking loans from banks. Yeah. To come but we're in the process of trying to see how we can scale up um, economically. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Ile, the information that's readily available. I love Sasa and you. So now from there, once you have the information, uh, then now you can start either small or big. Small, you can start with beans like this. You buy a kilo moja, you let your homes multiply, then you start slowly expand. But if you have enough money, you can just go all out and just inject a lot of money into the business, mm -hmm. buy a lot of homes, uh, invest in structures, like uh, labor, to come as well. Aside from farming, do you have any talent? Me, me, yeah. Hapana. Hi. <laughs> Jaman, what do you do in I used to draw. Time? I used to draw when I was back in high school. But excuse me, I was in the middle of economy. I was in the middle of the economy. Hi, Jaman. I was in the middle of the economy. I was in the middle of the Tafani lo kati tume retire. Kuni kutora ina ina pesa. Aiyo labda sasa ni juu ni kwa ule ule msani mzuri kabisa. Akimi for now this is my main. But you're doing a very good job and thank you so much for being on our show today. Asante sana. Yes. Asante. And you're always welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. There you have it. Lord, we have so many worms, vermi compost, vermi liquid. Wow, interesting indeed. Eh? Now, we have so many numbers of profit. Jamani, this is the one that we ground, the one that we have to do. And now, if you want to come to the farm, you can just text your name and the name of your farm, the location, to our free SMS line 22151, or you can WhatsApp us 0759 434389. Our Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, TikTok, to come to the farm. It is at Katie Home underscore and my handles are at Marion underscore the agri producer. So in Lale on the Rice Sana Jamani. Ninini ambayo worms who kula. Ninini ambayo worms who kula. Come on, make a kini sana. Uta kome score hundred percent ko yo swali. Asan sana kwa kujunga nami. Marion munyao nanga kunye show ya youth in agriculture. Hadu kachi mungine. Kwa heri.